Hey all, welcome again on Dev Stack. So in the last video of the this blog app development series, we created a main profile page. Sorry for that. And in the main profile page, uh, we created a screen and we fetched the, our image from the back end over here. Now it's time to fetch the real data, which means the real data we have. And this is our real data. So we have to fetch it and we have to display it on our blog app. So as I already told that to fetch the data and work with the JSON type of response, we had to create a model class. And I uploaded a video regarding the model class, what is a model class and why it's so important for the Flutter developer. And you will get the link of that video onto the description and in the eye corner. So let's go. And inside the lib folder, I will create a new folder called model where we will put the all the model related file. So let's go on a model and create a new file called profile model dot dot. And in the model folder is normal a class type. So as its class and the name will be profile model and let me first create the variable like we have the image id username we have to create an exact name variable which we are using over here so let me create a name and uh, other thing is username And after we create the variable, we have to just use the constructor of the same class and initialize it using the this is dot dob is dot about all the thing which we have. and here you can see the the order is different for the getting a variable name and uh, i'm not just initializing a image parameter over here because we don't need the image parameter because in the network handler let me go on a network handler we just have to pass the username and we already have a username parameter so we don't need uh, this image parameter in our file now it's time to use some packages and in the popspec.yml file you have you will need uh, three packages so let me paste the packages and these are the three packages the json annotation inside the dependency and uh, json serializable and build runner inside the dev dependency so after in the control is the flutter puppet will automatically run and install the packages let me go inside the model classes and i have to do the annotation over here for json serializable so let me use a notation called json serializable and and the, the package is automatically installed and now we have to just use the thing called part and the name uh, another file will be create over here and the name will be same as we are using in uh, our model file called profile model dot g dot dot so the the model the profile model dot g dot dot the name here is the same as the our file name and it will automatically create if you watch my 
the video related to the the model class is related thing then you will easily understand it now we have to create a two method over here first method will be factory and the type will be the name of the class i have to paste it over here and uh, from json and the type will be map type because we are working with the json data a string dynamic it's hard coded thing and uh, we will receive the json and corresponding to that we need to create a method called model not model the name of the class and uh, from json and we will pass the json data over here and the second method will be for the converting a normal data to the json string so it will be a type of again string and dynamic you can watch the model video so you will get a clear idea and the name of to json and here we have to use the class to json and pass this okay our model class is created now we just need to run a command to create a model.g dot file so the command will be here okay the command is here the flutter pub build runner so it will run and it will create uh, another file called model.g dot file and uh, it will do the pre-mapping i mean the mapping of this data with this data so it will done automatically with help of this model dot i mean the profile model dot g dot dot file the same thing i explained on the model classes and just watch that video and you will get a clear idea that why we use a model and why it's very important for flutter developer and how we can create it and it will take some time at the first time that to create this file just wait it and after it we just need to import it inside the main profile dot dot file so let me do the some quick thing over here at the time of fetching the data i will show a circular progress bar so as i already do like i use a bool circular to handle the circular progress bar it will be a true at the time of fetching a data and in the init state we will call the fetch data method where we will actually fetch the data and let me create that thing it will be a white type fetch data and uh, I have to rotate a sync and I will write await. Let me first go on a profile.model.dot file. The model class is created and the dot g file is also created and the mapping will done automatically. And uh, in the init state, I will call the endpoint of this. I mean the get data endpoint for getting a profile data back from the backend. And you know that. We already have a network handler for it, and let me initialize the network handler over here. Network handler and it's instant name network handler because we wrote all the HTTP requests inside the network handler. And uh, here I will just make a HTTP get request. So I will store the var response and uh, in the network handler we have a get request here you can now just let me just let me do this thing and, uh, ok 
okay because the backend is running i have to open the another window also and uh, in the network handler let me go inside the network handler we wrote the code of the http gate so the series is already big you can if you are a new then you can watch the video from the beginning and uh, we are just returning a json dot decoded response from this method so let me go on a just let me cut it and let me go on a main profile dot dot file and here i have to pass the exact endpoint and the endpoint is profile slash get data and uh, in the response here i have to create the instance of the profile model which i created profile model in its instance and i have to initialize the profile model and uh, now now i have to just do a one quick thing that i had to use this profile model for getting a data back and uh, we got the data in a response variable and just need a one thing that we have to convert the json string into the normal data so basically in the set state what i will do that in the profile model variable i will store the decoded data i mean decoded string into the profile model so use the profile model class which we created and we have a from json method as you know in a model class we created a from json method so with help of that we will convert this response which we are getting from the backend and map the thing we are getting the response as an error because the await okay we have to add await over here because if we didn't add await then it will give an error now the error is gone and uh, let's print the data i mean let's use i mean let's just start it and see the what kind of data we are getting back from the backend and we are getting a data here and the data is inside the data object so just we have to do one quick thing that we just used to access the data parameter inside the data parameter we are getting back the all the data so to access it we have to use the normal mapping then after the mapping now we can get all the data inside the profile model file now we have to use it so let's replace the static username to the username which we are getting from the backend and we can access it using the profile model dot username and uh, here instead of title line is a static we will use the profile model dot title line and uh, now what we have to do is here instead of passing a static username we can pass the username which we are getting from the backend and uh, let me go over here and uh, in the about section let me provide the about which we are getting from the backend and in the name also we have to provide the name which we are getting from the backend so let me create another field also Now all the field is added and if I hit the save then I will get this kind of error. So let me just do a one quick thing that we have to use the circular over here which we made it and in the circular I have to set the circular false after getting back the data and uh, here in the list view I will use the circular. So basically what happened first we will paste the data from the backend and at that time I will show a circular progress in taken so the circular is true which means we have to show the circular progress bar and if it's not true then we have to show the list view and let me wrap the circular progress indicator with the center widget and now hit the save and just refresh the app 
let's see what will happen when we refresh it it is fetching the data from the back end and uh, just wait so after restarting the app I see the data which we sent to the back end I mean the data we filled at the time of creating a profile is now available and we can see that data in our profile page which means our work for the fetching the data from the back end is now completed and we just need to add uh, some functionality on a back press button and an edit button so basically what I have to do that when a person will click on edit button we have to send the person into the update profile page and when a person click on a back press then it will go on to the home page so this function we will do on to the next video and thank you all happy coding and you can see that all the data which we sent to the back end is now easily shown into the profile page and let's wrap the profile page onto the next video thank you